Chris, it's been a while since you've been here at Celtic Park. How does it feel to be back and wearing the new away kit? Uh, amazing. Uh, like you say, you know, it's been a long time. Last time I came here, um, it was not a good day for me, good day for, for the team because I remember we, knew we win, but um, that time was not good for my knee, for myself. But you know, just to be back, seeing the pitch and to discover this, uh, this beautiful kit is just amazing. Yeah, looking very smart. How does it feel? Yeah, it's great. Uh, I like the colour. I love the colour. I love the design. The logo is just, you know, the size is just perfect. Um, I just love it. Yeah, there's a little bit of work going on at, here at Celtic Park. We can hear in the background getting ready for um, the new season. Um, no supporters, obviously. You've been used to, to watching football without any supporters. You've got a real connection with the fans. We're hoping to get them back at the start of the season. How much of a boost will that be? Amazing. That would be incredible, you know, for the team and for the championship too. For all the clubs, I think it would be amazing. And especially for us because we know the support that they give us, uh, you know, every time they are here with us or even away. Uh, so I just can't wait, you know, to, to have them back and to just enjoy uh, some victory with them. Yeah, you have got, as I said, a great connection. I'm just looking over at that goal over there, the famous goal you scored against against Lazio and what it meant to you and the, and the crowd, the energy. You feed off that, yeah. don't you? Yeah, definitely. You know, like we we play we play uh, football for this kind of uh, atmosphere. Uh, you start to play when you're young and to just enter in this kind of stadium and to play in front of so many people, you know, and to just enjoy, like you say, you know, atmosphere like this, it's just um, unforgettable. And I just uh, can't wait to have this, uh, this feeling back. You're still on your way back from, from this injury. At what stage are you at? How, how are you feeling? How is it? I'm good. I'm good here. Um, last time uh, that I worked in France, um, I, was, I was starting to run. I was, uh, I was good uh, on the pitch. I was running like, uh, like before, so I was really happy. Uh, so now we just, um, you know, just gonna keep go keep going, uh, keep going, and uh, work a little bit more on my on my strength, take back my strength because I, I can feel that my leg is still not at the same size. They, they still have some deficit on some part, and I just can't wait, you know, to to be back on the pitch with the with my teammate, of course, and and to have that feeling uh, with the ball again. Just thinking back, I know you don't want to dwell too much on the the incident itself, but. When you did crash into the post with your knee, did you know instantly that could you feel that it, that it was going to be a long-term layoff? Yeah, because I, you know, I, I never had like big injuries. I always like small injuries for maximum like probably one month or some stuff like that. But I never had the feeling of uh, of not moving my my part of my body. And at that time, when I take that shot, I feel I did I didn't feel my leg, so I didn't feel the. I didn't have the feeling to move my leg. I couldn't move my leg. And at that moment, I remember when Oton and everyone came to me, it was like, hey, it's nothing, it's nothing. It's like, no, this is something. I can feel it. This is something and it definitely was something. So um, we, I'm probably on a marathon. Um, the, the, the injury, I think it's probably nine months, something like that. So now I'm kind of in the half and I just can't wait, you know, to, to be back and like I said, to be with my teammate and everyone and just be on the pitch. As a professional footballer, of course, your life is all about training and, and playing and performing as an athlete. What is it like for you when you when you cannot do these things for a number of months and for your family as well? <laughs> it's just, I just can't describe, describe it because you just don't have this, um, you know, testosterone or this atmosphere of you every day of just waking up. Um, this goal of every time you know going on the on the pitch for training, just win just a little game against your teammates, teammates and stuff like that. It's just something missing. It's just something missing. And um, when you watch on the TV after with your teammates, uh, your teammates on the TV playing football, and you you just there, you can't do anything. You know, it's just like it hurts. It hurts for a long, long, long time. It really hurts. But you know to. To just think of uh, going back to process, to just thinking of coming back and to play football again and just enjoy again the football that I love, um, it's just a feeling that I, you know, can't wait to to have. Do you think that when you do come back, you maybe appreciate it even more because yeah. of the layoff? Yeah, definitely. Because, like I said, you know, the time you you just there in your house doing nothing, um, thinking of you come back, um, watching your teammates play and you can't do anything, you just um, realize like how football is just good for you, you know, how much uh, football is all my life since, I, since I'm since i young. 
and um, like I said, you know, just I just can't wait, you know, to be back because it's just a feeling that um, I miss. I miss that feeling so much. What would your message be to the to the Celtic supporters who will be delighted to see you here in the, in the new kit, but be more happy when they see you back out on the pitch? Wow, I can't wait to see you back. I can't wait to you know see you again. To have you in this stand, it's just. It will be the, I think, the best uh, present, you know, for for my comeback. Um, I'm just uh, working hard every day, uh, have some great moments together again, and um, I just can't wait to have that.